evening and thanks for joining us. There is renewed hope in the murder investigation of Austin teacher Grace Chen. It has been three years since her death, but authorities say there are persons of interest in this case. Fox 7's Ashley Paredes is joining us live from downtown Austin with more on this. Ashley. Chen's death came as a shock to the Asian American community and questions still surround the incident. Now they hope to get answers soon after receiving an update this past week from APD. Family and friends of Grace Chen are holding on to hope that there will soon be justice. It was such a shock to our community because we didn't know whether it is a hate crime. Are we being targeted? You know, and she's such a nice person and a good teacher. Why would that happen to her? 47 year old Grace Chen was killed February 19th, 2014, outside of the business her and her husband owned Grace Language and Culture. It was located at the Galleria Oak Shopping Center off 183 near Anderson Mill. Her body was found inside of a second floor bathroom, which was only accessible to employees. Officers estimate she had been there for two hours. There's so many questions that are not answered. What is the motive? How did she die? You know, it was in broad daylight. It was not in the middle of the night. Somebody must have seen something. Somebody must have heard something. So please come forward. Amy Wongmok is the head of the Asian American Cultural Center. She says Chen came to her for advice before opening up her business. I think, wow, she's a very generous person and her heart is really in the right place to promote, you know, our culture and our language, you know, to people who, who wanted to learn. Which is why she's fighting to make sure Chen is never forgotten. About a year ago, the case was assigned to a detective in the cold case unit. The original detective who retired had developed persons of interest in the case. Now they're hoping that forensic evidence will help tighten up that area to be more conclusive. As a community, we cannot move forward. I can only imagine how can her son, her only son Jackie, how can he move forward with his own healing? We are going to help him get a closure and to, to really bring justice to his mother. APD says they utilize every resource available in order to have a successful closure of these cases for the victim, their family, and the community. Back to you in the studio. All right, Ashley Paredes from downtown tonight. Thank you.